Okay, the new battery's installed. I made new battery cables going to the starter and the starter relay. You can see the red one, that's your ground wire, and it goes down here and hooks to the engine right there. You can see the red wire. The black wire going to the starter comes underneath the engine, underneath the battery the same way and goes up and goes to the starter relay. The starter relay then goes to the battery. Your fuse controls the bike, but it's not used for the starter per se. Okay, um, I've got the tank off. I relocated this Sparks electronic ignition module from inside the battery box where it was interfering with the battery and getting in the way of all those cables. I relocated it up to the frame and it's mounted here now and connects on the other side. So we'll walk over there and I'll show you. Try not to pan too fast. By the way, the tail light is operational and the handrail is installed. On this side of the bike, I cleaned up all this wiring in here that was a real mess and made it a bit neater. Still looks like a mess, but it is a whole lot neater. Spark unit there. The spark plug is sitting here. If we turn on the ignition, we have dash lights. And I will press the starter button. The engine will turn over, but I've got the spark plugs out, so it's not going to run. But at least you'll be able to see the um, spark. You got good spark there. Engine is turning over. Got good spark. Electrical system is about halfway complete. I've still got to get the turn signals working and the headlight. And I don't think the brake light itself is working. So that's what I'll do tomorrow. Anyway, today the bike is turning. Bike is firing. Have new good cables going to the starter motor. And that's a good thing.